Hello, YouTube. So for today's video, I have a basically freshman advice 101. So if you are just now going into college for your first year, this is definitely the video for you. So the first tip that I have for you all, and it's probably one of the most important tips for just beginning classes, is to GPS your classes like a day or two before and then go to them so that you're not late on the first day of school. Because speaking from experience, that is the most stressful time to try to find your classes because you have no idea about the campus, you don't know where anything is, especially not your classes. So definitely make sure that you GPS them and like walk to them physically so that you can see what the buildings look like and everything like that. And especially on the first day of class, there's gonna be half of the students are going to be late to class because they were like wandering around campus trying to find their classes because they didn't do it a day or two before. And you don't wanna be one of those people <laughs> who are late to class on the first day. And of course the teachers are gonna be like forgiving of you if you're late on the first day because they understand that none of you guys know what you're doing and you don't know where you're going. So don't worry about it too much if you are late on the first day, but it definitely sets a good example and just good tone for the rest of your semester for that class. My second tip, and this is mostly if you're going to be living in the dorms, for your first year, which I think it's required for a lot of schools that you do live in the dorms if you're a freshman, and that's to buy a microwave. <laughs> you are going to be living through a microwave when you're a freshman in college, or just anyone in college, um, because real food is expensive, and sometimes you're just way too hungry to get up and go out of your dorm or leave your house to get food so you need a microwave. <laughs> and sometimes you just don't want to cook or go all the way down to the kitchen that's in your dorm hall and you just need some food right now. So buying a microwave will save you so many times, especially if you're trying to run out of the door because you're late to class in the morning, you will need a microwave in your dorm. And the third tip that I have for you all is if you are not required to buy a meal plan for your first year, and I'm pretty sure that it is required for a lot of schools if you're living in the dorms that you have to have a meal plan because they don't want you to starve. But if it's not required, you should definitely buy one anyways. They're usually not as expensive as you would think and they're going to save you a lot of time and effort and probably money too. Especially when you're like, probably not going to be able to leave campus all day to go back to your dorm or back to your house and you just really need some food. A meal plan is going to save you so much. It's just going to save your life, honestly. <laughs> because with a meal plan, you can basically go into any of the like food restaurants on the campus and they will honor your meal plan. So that's like your money for the school's food, <laughs> for the school's food. And then they're just, you just swipe your little ID or show them your ID or whatever. And like, here's your food and it's great. <laughs> and the fourth tip that I have for you all is also a very important one. So the first week of college is going to be syllabus week. And that's where your teachers basically like go over every single thing in the syllabus. It's extremely boring, but you should definitely <laughs> not skip these classes. And it's just a good like, it's just a good idea to go to class on the first days and see how the class is, see what people you're going to be spending the rest of the semester with and try to make some friends on the first days, um, even though it is going to be very boring. <laughs> Just please go to your first days of class and be on time. But I strongly recommend that you do actually look at what's in the syllabus because that's where they're going to show you every assignment that's due, every test, every quiz that you're going to be taking, and things like that, and when your finals are. So if you 
are planning on taking a trip in like four months from now, then you can know exactly when to plan your trips so that you don't miss your finals because I promise you they will not reschedule your finals if you have a flight to catch because you're going on vacation early. And so you should just really write down all of your tests and quizzes in your calendar or in your planner, whatever you use, so that you will know when you can skip classes or when you shouldn't skip class because you have a quiz or test. And so you can just be as prepared as possible to take your quizzes and tests. And the next tip that I have for you all is to choose your skipping days wisely. If you are prone to skipping class, you should definitely choose which days wisely even if you are sick because sometimes you have a quiz that day and they won't let you make it up. So you should talk to your um, teacher beforehand if you are going to be sick and ask them if it's okay for you to miss that day if there is a quiz that day. Because usually they'll be pretty forgiving if you have a quiz and you are sick if you contact them beforehand, not after. <laughs> and also for most classes, you do only have like two weeks that you're allowed to skip without it hurting your grade. After that, your grade will probably go down a lot if you skip more than two weeks. And two weeks as in if it's like a Thursday, Tuesday class, then you can miss four days of that class. Or if it's like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, then you can miss six days of that class. Not like a whole 14 days of class, it's just two school weeks. And the next tip that I have for you all is to definitely make friends in your classes because those are the people who most likely share the same interests as you. And if you have friends in class, that will be great when you're form trying to form study groups you know, trying to study for finals and the tests. And if you miss a day of class, then you can ask them for the notes that you missed and everything like that. And it's just a really good idea to have friends in your classes in general for a million other reasons, but mostly um, <laughs> like if you really need people around you who share the same space as you do, you know what I'm saying? brain space and stuff like that. And another tip for making friends is to try to join some form of club or organization. I'm definitely going to be doing that this semester. I think that it's gonna be a great way for me to reach out and make friends that are like me. <laughs> you know, maybe there's some people at ASU who also want to be in the fashion industry and have a blog and YouTube and all that other stuff. So. I will be on the hunt and prowl for those people. And if you're one of them, contact me because I wanna be friends. That is pretty much all that I have for you guys. Um, I think that those are some really solid tips for starting freshman year. Freshman year is definitely a very stressful time, especially if you're moving across the country or just farther from your parents' home to a place that you have no idea about it's a very stressful time, but you will get through it. It is not the end of the world. It's a pretty great time if you spend your time wisely. And definitely do not spend all of your time studying for tests and not having fun because all work and no play is leading you on a fast track to failure because that is not how the human brain works. You need to have fun and have breaks. You definitely need to take breaks if you want to pass your classes and have some ounce of happiness <laughs> during college. So I guess that's my last tip. Don't do the all work, no play gig, especially if you have a job as well. You will need to take at least a day off per week to remain sane. So definitely try that out. <laughs> but yeah, I will see you all next week with a brand new video. Bye-bye.